Okay, folks, what I've done here is I put together two PDFs, all right? One being a quiz and one being a study guide, all right? And this has to do with our multi dimensional anatomy. Now, before doing any technique, okay, this is recommended, okay? The importance of the study guide is, and the quiz, obviously, is so that you can memorize this information. And I broke it down to five questions. And take your time with it. If you don't have a way to be able to print this out, that's fine. You don't need to. You just need to have access to the material here. And get yourself a piece of paper, pen or pencil, you know, old-fashioned word processor, and uh, just study, you know. Get it to where you finally know it. And once you know it, it's going to benefit you greatly on many levels. I'm going to go ahead and read through this. I have a preface to the multidimensional anatomy quiz. And I'm going to briefly go over that so you know what's there. And then go over the questions, and then I'll be done with that. All right, so I, I start off with saying, talking about frequency. So frequency equals light slash color slash form. Form is that which is shape and geometry, right? And all of it being the result of vibration. Vibration is pre-sound thought intention. Okay, this being that is, this being the creative expression of awareness, expression of awareness, which is consciousness, which is energy, right? Our consciousness, what we are, is energy, and all that is energy is conscious. Okay, these particular universal creation field matrices are harmonic in design. We may call them sound and light constructs. However, we may better know them as electromagnetic circuits. One may refer to this electromagnetic circuit design as the circulation of the in-breath and out-breath of God. However, it is with greater understanding that we practically see this as code for personal application. This is a harmonic conscious construct. That's the design. And therefore, dimensions ought to be seen as energetic bands of conscious awareness. Each dimension slash or consciousness band consists of 12 harmonic codes, and those codes being tones, right? Harmonic. Within music, we can refer to this as subharmonics, which then we also have a mirror image of overtones one octave above the subharmonic tones, each dimension being a unique harmony of its combined 12 tones, right? Which are subharmonics creating a distinct chordal tone or sound. Cheeky. like to go with this, with what I'm doing here, is to utilize it within a podcast. Not just one, but several. that covers each question. And for things like what I just said there, how I worded that, each dimension being a unique harmony of its combined 12 tones, which are subharmonics creating a distinct chordal tone or sound. I could go to my keyboard or be from the position of my keyboard and kind of demonstrate that to a certain degree to help solidify that understanding. So what we're talking about, like dimension one, has the tone of the combined tones or 12 tones subharmonics as being 
when put together, sounds like chi. Okay, so let us know that this harmonic structure, okay, this universal harmonic structure repeats itself over and over and over and over again, right? Like the universal cathar grid. Then you have a planetary cathar grid. You had a galactic cathar grid. You have a bodily uh, template for, you know, in incarnating the structure is repeating itself over and over and over and over again. Therefore, it can be assured that our manifest blueprint consists of the complete original universal design. Things may be shut off. It may not be working properly. Obviously, here on Earth, that's quite clear. But the design is still there. It just needs to be reactivated or rather healed. I prefer to use the word repair and then tuned because we're talking about a harmonic construct. So repairing the instrument and then tuning it. Okay? So when you hear the expression, the universe is within you. No, this is to be a literal fact. Exactly. You are a little universe. You have everything within you that's exactly the same. It's all within you. So that's the reason for this uh, quiz and the study guide is to know this. Okay, so one of the main steps in repairing and tuning one's universal structure, that is healing self, is that one must know their multidimensional anatomy and its intended function. In other words, how the circuit is designed, how it works, and how to maintain it optimally, okay? Okay, we're going to go through the questions now. I'm almost done. <laughs> so, question number one. What are the names of the 15-dimensional tones? An example, one, that would be chi. Two, ki. Three, ri. All right, I'm going to stop there. The whole idea is to know where it's located, know the names, and then question number two, what is their related frequency spectrum or color? Number three, what are the names slash locations of our seven primary chakras and eight morphogenic chakras? Okay. Question number four, what are the colors and where are the locations of our star crystal seals? Number five, what is the current flow of our bodily axiotonal lines? That is to say, our, our electromagnetic torus field counter rotational spin. The whole point of me wanting to do a podcast for this is being able to correlate all this and bring it all together. So it's really much more easily understood. It's not to be seen as separate things, even though they are separate things in regard to function. The point is, is that it would be quickly illustrated how these all connect one another so intimately. Thank you so much. Okay. I appreciate you, those who are been doing your best. So thank you. Blessings to you. And um, let's keep moving forward. Onward and upward.